What is up YouTube, Ultimate Lock here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to join Google Groups notifications. Google Groups notifications is a very powerful tool because not only does it send you an email alert whenever an announcement is made in your group, it also can be set up to where it sends you a text message. And that is the main point where a lot of people are like really stoked about this. It's a very, very useful tool because of that. So you can use this for a variety of reasons. I'm currently using it right now because the Nintendo SNES Classic Edition is on now in stock.net, but they've already hit critical mass. So essentially, if I go off and sign up for their text alerts, I'm probably gonna see, receive a text within three to five minutes of it being in stock. And by that time I, I receive the text, I'm most likely gonna miss out on the item. But if I'm in the Google Groups, the Google Groups is much more effective and it's even faster according to now in stock than their own personal servers. So it's a much better option and I highly recommend using this for if you're basically wanting to do anything along the lines of trying to get high demand items there's generally always going to be a Google group that will have an automated bot that will say hey this items in stock here's the link and then if you have text messaging set up it'll just send a text message directly to your phone so uh, yeah let's get started the first step is to join the Google group that you're wanting to receive notifications for we're gonna be joining the Nintendo SNES classic edition Google group that way we can get notified whenever the console comes in stock if you look over here at this chart it shows all the links for the retailers that are going off and doing pre-orders or going to have the item in stock and if you go over here to the side you can also see that it's marked by the G symbol the G symbol means that it's a part of the Google group so if you join the Google group you're gonna get notified of on these ones but there's also some of them that aren't marked with the G symbol such as B&H photo and if it comes in stock at B&H photo you will not be notified by the Google group because it's not a part of the tracker so to join the Google group all you're gonna have to do is scroll down here go to the Google group option right here and I'll have most likely a link in the description to join the Google group click here and it also tells you the benefits super fast uh, alert delivery is faster than our own alerts negatives you will receive alerts for all items marked with the G in the tracker you cannot choose which you're going to be alerted on this is very important because if you're using this Google group uh, notifications for anything along those lines even if it's not even for the Nintendo SNES classic whoever posts in there you're going to be getting a email alert and you're also going to be getting a text alert if you have that set up so if you're going off and joining let's just say a world of warcraft rating club you have a hundred people posting there you're going to be receiving an email and text delivery for each individual post so that's something that you really want to avoid and you want to make sure that you're joining the correct group so click here here's the group right there and pretty simple you're just going to click join group and this is where it's very very important okay so it says right here automatically subscribe me to email updates when i post on this topic and oh wait no it's not that one sorry um uh, it says email delivery preference don't send email updates that's not what you want to check you want to set, uh, check notify me for every new message fewer than one per day right so this is very very important if you do not do this step right here you will not receive email alerts. If you do not receive email alerts, you won't be able to get the alerts for when it comes in stock and you won't be able to set up the text alerts. So this is very, very important. So click join the group and you're done. So that's very important. Now we're gonna be going off and setting up the text alerts. We have joined the Google group. We have notifications set up to where every single time something gets posted in the Google group, we're gonna be receiving email alerts about it. Now we need to change those email alerts into text alerts. So you need to go to your main Gmail page, your Gmail inbox. It says it should show primary, social, and promotions. You're gonna to go to the gear icon right here. Go to settings. And from here, you're gonna see a lot of tabs. You're gonna see the general tab right here, labels, inbox, accounts and imports, filters and blocked, forwarding and pop, chat, labs, offline, and themes. We're gonna first go to forwarding. You're gonna add a forwarding address. You're gonna click this right here. And the forwarding address is going to be different from every user. First, this is going to include your phone number. Second, you're going to have to put in your mobile provider. For myself, I have Cricket, so this is going to be my forwarding address. So my number at cricketmss.net. So essentially, this is what you do if you're using Cricket. If you're using different providers, I'm going to have a picture on the top left showing you guys how it goes from there. If it's not shown there, all you have to do is just do a quick Google search. You should be able to find it within five to 10 minutes. It's not that hard. For Cricket, at least, it took me about a solid 10 minutes because 
there was like three different cricket ones and I just had to play around with it until I finally got the text alert. Once you've done this, you're going to go off and receive a text message on your phone confirming this and you're going to have to go off and verify it. So uh, I'm going to do that right now. If you submit the correct mobile address, you will receive the following text message to your phone. It'll give you a confirmation code and you're just going to have to verify that. So go over here and input your verification code, click verify, and you're done. So now we need to go off and create a filter. This is a very, very important step because as default, disable forwarding is applied and we need to go off and tell Google which emails that's allowed to go off and uh, send us text messages about. So do not check forward a copy of incoming mail to your uh, mobile address because if you do check this right here, if you do change this, then what's going to end up happening is every single time you receive an email for anything along those lines, you are going to receive a text message about it. And it's going to be very, very annoying. So as default, it should be disabled forwarding. You're going to keep that checked and we're going to create a filter to bypass disabled field uh, forwarding. And it's going to allow us to go off and receive text messages only from that address. So create a filter and we're going to go off and input our Google groups. So for the Google groups that we're using for this video, it's going to be nowinstock.net, SNS Classic Edition at googlegroups.com. You might have a different address and you're just gonna click create a filter with this search, right? And you're gonna click forward it to right here and you're gonna choose an address, click right here, click your address and then you're gonna click create a filter, make sure everything's correct and you're going to receive a notification right here saying that your filters are forwarding some of your email to your mobile address at cricketwireless.com. This notice will end in seven days. And this right there means that you have successfully done it. Click to uh, filters and blocked addresses again, just to make sure. And you should see it right here. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is. You got everything set up to get notifications for your Google groups and via text notifications, which is very, very important. So in this video, we've covered how to join a Google group, how to go off and set up email and text notifications for that Google group. This information can be used for a wide variety of things. And especially with the whole text notification setup, I know that was a real pain when I was first learning. And that's the main reason why I made this video, especially the fact that I was like looking around for videos that were basically going off and showing you how to do it. And it took me about 20 to 30 minutes, but I ended up getting it down. Uh, the main thing that really became a problem with me was going off and finding my mobile address because I looked around for about like five to 10 minutes I couldn't find my damn Cricut wireless one. I was just like, okay. So I tried around with a few things and I eventually got it. Uh, if this video helped you out, please make sure to like the video and share it. Uh, it really helps with the channel and hopefully you'll be able to go off and get your own SNES classic or whatever you're using this Google group for, because of course it can always be for something completely irrelevant to what we were doing in the video. So uh, yeah, peace out guys and uh, have a nice day.